guys and welcome to my channel um thank you all so much for your likes shares your comments and your subscribes and support i really do appreciate you if any of you would like to book a personal reading or for anything else the information on how to do so is in the description box below okay so today i have a channeled message um with these these cards were brought to my mind to go with the channel message okay i was going to post it on my community tab but there's just too much to say so i'm just going to say it in the video so this is basically for whoever needs to hear it or whoever's drawn to the title or the message of this reading okay um so on the table we have the two of swords we have the card that says silence is the best reply to a fool and then we have the energy vampire which reads draining feeding soulless manipulation toxic depletion and addictive okay so with these energies here firstly i just want to say we are now in sagittarius season it's a very celebratory season um very celebratory energy very lucky energy this is the time of like joy and like family and like it's very festive you know the holidays regardless of whether or not you celebrate the holidays or not because you know if you look into the deep reasons of why most of these holidays were made you wouldn't want to celebrate them but do you know what i mean the christmas spirit the festive season people are like with their families some people um you know maybe it's a time where bad things could have happened around this time and so then you get the scrooges who kind of hate everything and hate the world and they hate the holidays okay but whatever's going on this is supposed to be a season of like prosperity luck expansion and just optimism okay so um for some of you you have energy vampires around you especially if you're someone that is vibrating very high a lot of the times people who you know are vibrating very high attract the darkness because the darkness is attracted to the light and the people that are within the darkness they always see themselves as divine or better than other people or this that and the third but really they have to seek the light in others in order to thrive or in order to kind of feel relevant so these are people that have very low self-esteem now it's in the um word low self-esteem anyone who has low self-esteem is operating from a low vibration therefore they are not um divine or they're not operating from a higher frequency so they're not in their higher self they're not following their higher purpose they're not thinking um with a higher state of mind so these people are definitely going to try and bring you down to their energetic level because they're soulless. They need something to feed off of. This is how negative or low vibrational energy works, okay? So um, if you don't want to be around these types of energies or these types of people, the best way to kill a beast is to starve it. The best way to kill demons is to starve it. Don't feed these energies because they're parasites. They feed they feed off of um, anger. They feed off of misery. As they say, misery loves company, okay? So with the two of swords and the silence is the best reply to a fool, I feel like for some of you, you could be in two minds about whether or not you want to cuss somebody the fuck out. I feel like you really want to tell somebody about their low vibration or toxic ass self, but don't, okay? Don't lower your energy don't meet somebody at your level because that's what they want because they feed off of low vibrational energy so all that's going to happen is you're going to say something they're going to say something to you and it's going to be back and forth and then you're going to be basically giving this person power because that's the only way that this person or these people can thrive is through chaos okay so um and the people like this because you could be dealing with someone who's in denial about their own darkness and that's even worse because people who are aware of their darkness know their limits People who are not aware of their own destruction are not only a danger to themselves but other people around them because they don't know they don't know that they're bad or they don't know that they're in a low va low vibration. So um, they don't understand the towers that they're creating everywhere that they go. So um, those people are the worst people to be around. Now this could be family, this could be friends, this could be a love interest. If you're around anybody that's in a low vibration, anybody that doesn't see the value in themselves stay away from that person okay that person is miserable they're going to bring you to a miserable dark place um and whatever darkness that somebody's going through that is not your problem you're not there to um bring someone's shadow out to heal it people need to heal themselves people need to face their own shadows i feel like a lot of people try to run away from their environment try to run away from people switch different partners different places to avoid 
um, changing themselves, okay? Um, some of you as well may have seen the red flags. This is like, say, if you're somebody who um, reads cards, right? Excuse me, right? And you're pulling cards on a love interest and you keep getting the devil and the seven of swords. And every time you're like, you know, every time I pull cards on you, I get the devil. Well, I don't see the devil as a bad thing. Of course, they're going to say that to you. You know what I mean? If you're if you're pulling the devil when you're asking about somebody, um, that is a, that is um, proof that somebody is operating from a very low toxic vibration. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? And they're trying to attach themselves to you in some type of way. Okay. And they're going to do this by trying to tell you what it is that you want to hear. You know what I mean? A lot of the time that devil energy uses like money or, or lust or greed to kind of control you in some type of way. But they try to make you think that it's what you want when really they're planting those seeds so that they can attach themselves to you. Because I feel like somebody knows that they're going to a very dark place. They know that they don't have... um. I don't know. I feel like for some of you, I feel like someone's trying to escape their fate or their destiny. And the only way for them to do that is to attach themselves to somebody else who's got a good um, destiny or good fate. It's like somebody's trying to benefit off of your energy or off of your karma. Okay. Off of your fortune, whether it's spiritual fortune or actual, um, you know, physical fortune. But for a lot of you, I think it's spiritually. I think this is a spiritual thing. So just if, if you're around anybody that's like that, stay away from them, especially people who don't see value in themselves. Those are very dangerous people to be around because they don't have self-respect, which means they're not going to have respect for you. They're not going to have respect for other people. Um, but then they're going to want you to be around them. Nobody wants to be around a killjoy. Nobody wants to be around somebody who sees life as a black hole and there's darkness everywhere. Even if there is darkness in the world and you understand everything that's going on, you may be somebody that um, understands your value. You understand self-love. You have a purpose. You have a passion. So you're focused on bringing brightness into the world. You're focused on making a positive impact because you actually enjoy your own company. You actually enjoy and value yourself. You know your own identity. I feel like somebody doesn't know their identity. And when they, whenever they come into um, contact with something that represents who they truly are, they run away from it because they, they're trying to avoid, you know, like it's kind of like if you dig up your past or your ancestors and you find out they were really evil and you just like, oh, well, that's not me, that's not me, but it's in your blood. Do you know what I mean? And it's gonna be projected when when you're in relation with other people so you may find that like it's either you or the other person but someone may find every time they, they're in relation with someone someone's like oh you know what your energy is really draining or you're really cynical or you're really sinister or you're quite prejudiced or you're this you're that and then they're trying to find excuses as to why everyone's saying that it's like no if people keep telling you that you're a certain type of way sometimes you need to look at yourself and say well why do people always say this about me maybe it is because i'm like this do you know what I mean? So I kind of just feel like there's energy vampires around you. It's like there's you're a very high vibrational being and there's like an entity that's trying to get to you and it's going to come to you in the forms of different people. So you may feel like, why do I keep attracting the same people or the same energy? It's because it's this one entity, this devil energy that is basically possessing people um, to try and attach itself to you, to stop you from your purpose. And you'll know when something isn't in alignment just based on how you feel. So if you start feeling tired and drained and you don't wanna, you don't, or you start looking at yourself and like the beauty kind of drain from your face or you're not motivated to do things, that's this person's energy that you're around. They're not adding to you, they're taking away. So anyone that's taking away from your energy, from your space, like subtracting, that is not good because people around you, they need to add value to, to, to your life. I feel like you add value to everybody else's life, but they don't add value to you because, you know, when you're on a high vibration, you're a rare breed. You know what I mean? This is why you, it's hard for you to um, be in relation to people who are like you because there's not many people that are like you. There's, there's more darkness than there is light because we're right currently in the world where everything is um, unbalanced, okay? And so the only people that have balance, you know, people are going to try and latch onto you. Because you have balance, you have a um, clear discernment, you you know where you're going in life, you can see things clearly. So people are going to latch onto your energy. But they're also going to try to um, rebel against it as well. And when someone's rebelling against you, that's when you know that somebody's not good for you, okay? 
You know, you don't want to be around closed-minded individuals. You want to be around open-minded people, okay? Um, you want to be around people that are actually spiritual. There's a lot of people that claim to be spiritual and they're on a spiritual journey, but um, they're not actually connected to spirit. They're very logically, um, logical minded. So it's like, well, how can you be on a spiritual journey or wanting to do spiritual things or work with spiritual people when you yourself are soulless? You don't, you don't even have a soul. You don't even see, you can't even see yourself. Do you know what I mean? Like there's nothing there. There's nothing inside of you. You don't have any beliefs. You know, spirituality is all about faith and belief. So if somebody doesn't have any belief within themselves, within their surroundings, within anything, you know, those are not the people that you want to attach yourself to because they're basically living a lie or they're living in the reflection of other people. So basically telling everybody what they want to hear to basically get by. So you could be dealing with like an opportunist, okay? So anyway, you're in two minds about basically telling someone about themselves. Don't do it. You know what I mean? Don't do it. Somebody's in denial and they will face judgment. They will face karma. They will continue to face the same dynamics and different people wherever they go until they um, go through some kind of ego death. Okay. Um, everybody you meet in your life is for a reason. But um, sometimes the, the reason is, um, or sometimes it's like a test to see whether or not you truly have self-worth and self-value. You know what I mean? Are you going to stand up to someone? Are you going to put somebody in their place? Are you going to be accepting of something? Are you going to allow respect or disrespect? Do you know what I mean? So um, when you see that somebody's not in alignment with who they try to present themselves to be, run, okay? Don't be around anybody that's toxic or operates from a low vibration. And also listen to the things that people say. Like the other day, um, somebody told me that they um, like, took their daughter to like dispensaries and like, um, you know, it was like, uh, you know, allowed their teenage daughter to like smoke cannabis with them and shit. And I just thought to myself, what kind of parent does that? Now, what type of parent is going to encourage their child to smoke? Do you know what I mean? I mean, so, cannabis is a very sacred plant. I used to be like a weed act activist, but I don't agree with people um, encouraging their children to smoke do you know what I mean? I think that is not good parenting. That's not somebody who I would, you know, no offense if you're someone that does that shit, but that's low vibrational. If you're trying to encourage your children to adopt some kind of um toxic behavioral pattern, because that's what, you know, when you're um younger and you start to, you know, smoke, weed, alcohol, whatever it is, those are all things that can affect you. Do you know what I mean? You can become very addicted to you know, it's not, um, those types of substances are not for everybody, especially when you're at a young age. That's not the time when you should be, um, do you know what I mean? At least your parents shouldn't be encouraging you to do that type of shit. So I listen to what people say and I'm just like, um, why the fuck would anyone encourage their teenage fucking daughter to fucking smoke? Like who does that shit? Do you know what I mean? And next thing you know, your fucking teenage daughter is like a pothead doesn't want to do anything with their life and you've you've brought them into that or if you're an alcoholic and you're you're you know giving your child alcohol like it's the same difference do you know what i mean so it's kind of like listen to to people like that you just like um anyone who encourages anybody to do something um low vibrational or something that's going to keep them in a like a how can i say like a um that's going to take them out of a cleansed mindset if you will is a dangerous person to be around do you know what i mean um you don't you don't want to be around people that um encourage that type of stuff there's a difference between being a supportive and encouraging okay so someone does something and you know you're like okay well you do you that's on you but if you're encouraging someone to do that type of shit that's a bit like okay well you know um yeah so that was just an example but just you know you want to be um of sane mind and you know when you're putting certain things in your body it alters your your mind state it, it alters the way that you think and the way that you see things have you ever been around people that are always high all the time and then when they're not high they're like a demon or like they're a really evil person or they're like really agitated and shit because they don't have their fix because it's like they need something to keep themselves sane 
So, you know, when you're noticing behavioral patterns in people or people that like suffer from like manic depression or behavioral things or like they, they get joy out of anger, like you're sitting with someone and you're watching them laugh at somebody getting fucked up or, you know, any angry situations, they find pleasure in it, like very sadistic. Stay away from those types of people because they're not going to see things the way that you do. What you see as bad, they're going to see it as good. And those are people that are very... um destructive okay so keep your peace keep your sanity keep your purified spirit and just stay away from people that are encouraging you or encouraging children to do um adult things or negative things or toxic things you know um you don't want to be around people that are like that okay um just listen to people, listen to how they speak about their family, how they speak about the people that they're around. You may think, well, do you know what? Your family sounds, sounds kind of fucking evil. Your friends sound like they're fucking out of it. So what does that say about you? Do you know what I mean? Because as they say, birds of a feather flock together. So, you know, people are the company that they keep. People are a reflection of what they surround themselves with. So if you're finding out that, you know, there's just darkness and um, low vibrational energy around somebody and that's just kind of what they're used to what do you think that person is going to be filled of what what do you think that energy what do you think that person is going to project when they're around you do you know what i mean so i feel like you need to make sure that you're staying away from people that um have a low vibrational spirit especially around this time this is when the um scrooges and the evil people are going to be fucking trying to latch on to something or bring everybody down with them because you know they hate the world and they hate that everybody's happy and fulfilled with themselves so do you know what i mean just stay to yourself um unless you are connecting with someone who's also on a high vibration and you know when someone's on a low vibration it's people who are always in a rush to do something they're in a rush to to you know to find a partner or to do this or to do that they're always like in a rush you're like what's the hurry that's a red flag to me. Do you know what I mean? So pay attention to that type of energy, okay? Somebody's trying to run away from something or they're trying to run away from themselves and they're trying to use your energy to um, boost them in some type of way or they're trying to entrap you, okay? So don't allow that toxic energy to bring you down to their toxic vibration Stay in your high vibration and cut people off that don't serve a purpose in your life. And also people who don't know their own purpose and they're not trying to look for a purpose or they're trying to use other people to find their purpose. Stay away from those types of people, okay? Let them go through their darkness, the dark night of the soul. Let them do what they need to do in order to bring themselves out of that misery. But don't, don't you know, don't bring yourself or allow yourself to kind of... um marinate in their toxic energy because it's not going to have a good effect on you okay and it's not helping them because really what you're doing is enabling their behavior and then allowing yourself to turn just as poisonous and toxic as they are you know because that type of energy is is um contagious okay so um yeah so just try to stay high vibrational and as it says silence is the best reply to a fool so you know silence is deafening don't say what it is that you really want to say to somebody because they're not going to listen to you anyway. They're not going to believe it. Do you know what I mean? People are um, trapped in their own delusions and that's okay. Let somebody be trapped in their own delusion. I feel like for some of you, you may have said something to someone and everything that you said has come to pass. Don't even say, I told you so. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You know, just kind of sit in your own delight knowing that you're right and knowing that um spirit is always guiding you and always showing you like it just gives you more confidence to know that you're really in tune with spirit and what's really going on around you because everything that you predicted is coming into form so um but you don't need to be that person that's like well i told you so or i've been saying this from the start you don't need to do all of that do you know what i mean somebody they know that you're that that you're right and they're wrong but i feel like you're dealing with like a narcissistic spirit those though you can't reason with those types of people so let them you know, um, revel in their own destruction, you know, and you remain in your peace. So thank you so much. I hope that made some kind of sense. Um, and I will see you guys in the love readings. Bye.